right, so today we're looking at the Xiaomi Mijia electric screwdriver, the big boy variant. They do have a smaller, which this is not. Um, yeah, so design-wise, you could definitely see it's it's Xiaomi, right? So it's their hyper minimalist approach. Uh, it's also Type C powered. How more on this later? Just having a quick look around the device. We have this very stylish and very comfortable direction switch, right? So you can just operate this very easily and be dexterously. So there's a middle position, which just activates the light, which deserves a bit of attention. So this is based around three LEDs, cold white, a bit unfortunate, but anyway. Uh, I don't know how exactly I can uh, showcase this, but there is excellent illumination, right? This will see below the screw, right? Below the screw head even. So you get exactly, you get a great feel for uh, where you're screwing into. So that's super nice. Um, I'll actually add two shots of how this illuminates a screw and how my previous cheapo screwdriver uh, actually, that's a drill. Uh, how those illuminate, so you can see there's a pretty stark difference in, in approaches. Um, let's quickly go over the operation. Um, so basically with the finger pre with the trigger pressed, you can actually switch between the modes, right? So you're going one way, the other way, the other way. And so that's fine. You can't do it too quickly though because it, um, the overcurrent protection steps in, which, yeah, not a big deal. So we'll later see that this uh, overcurrent protection does step in when tightening screws. Um, it does tighten them to a fair amount, right? To a fair degree, I would say I wouldn't have many complaints with this. And the video I've shot with it is already with a pretty depleted battery, so you can see the lights dim as as you near the end of the um, of the torque capabilities let's say and it still did a fine job right so no complaints over there um, it also comes with this kit of uh, about five drill bits uh, screw bits however these are not super good so I've tightened very few screws with this and it's already wearing out pretty seriously not a big issue though, so you don't buy this for the drill bits. Uh, they do come in a very nice carrying case, so let me show that right quick. Very minimalist, just the Mijia brand. Unfortunately, the bits are pretty weak, so I don't know, at least the Philips one is not outstandingly hardcore. It comes with this black extender, right? So you'd, you'd want to have this, right? Because it does match the color of the drill, I don't know. I do care about that kind of shit, does, does make me feel more fuzzy inside. So anyway, also comes with this, not insanely high durability, but it does work. Uh, so yeah, regarding the type C charging, right? It is very nice to see it there. They do also include a type A to type C cable and that's fine. But do note that this is the only kind of cable you will be able to use with this. So if you have your MacBook charger, for example, that uses a Type-C to Type-C cable, that will most likely not work. And the reason for that is it's a dumb Type-C implementation in that it does not have uh, power delivery enabled. So the way a Type-C cable would work, a uh, Type-C connection would work, is now there's only voltage on the auxiliary line. I always forget how that's called. But anyway, the main power lines are not energized with anything. And so something would have to speak back to the charger and say, yo, give me 5 volts, 9, 12, 15, 20, however much is required. And this does not do it, right? So this does not wake up the system. Even if we wake up the power bank, nothing happens. So you will have to use a right for example one of these triggers would wake the system up but anyway now it did unfreeze so you can see how this protocol is supposed to work right and this is constantly telling it give me nine volts give me nine volts give me nine volts 
the moment you disconnect this, it will stop applying power, and this is the correct implementation. There are some type C chargers that will put 5 volts constantly. It's technically not a big problem, but anyway. And so if we take a look at the um, take a look at the regular type A to, to type C cable. This should charge at around one amp. Yeah. So it should charge in around like two to three hours, which is perfectly decent. It will not want to run while it's charging, right? So it disables the, the motor. But yeah. And so let's, uh, with this being said, let's just go over to the video of the demo. All right, so this would be a uh, pretty hardcore use case for this. Uh, so this is a super old chair, right? Um, I mean, this would be, I think, worse, but this is pretty hard. Like, it does take the drill quite a quite a go. And so anyways, I have these uh, self-tappers that uh, have a little, uh, little drill bit end so I'll have a go at this like one-handed is gonna be hard because these are not super magnetic I don't know what the fuck these are made of but anyway so Just for context, this is where we have, uh, wait, this is the back side, right? So there's a pretty thick piece of wood here that we drilled in. And yeah, so overall, I'm, um, I'm not displeased. Uh, one more thing that I want to mention is, right, I have tightened, I don't know, like 15 to 25 screws. Most of them I did tighten until the stall point, so 100% torque at the end, which is right how you regularly tighten your screws. And it, the gearbox in this does make a pretty observable churning noise, right? So it's not super noticeable in free air. And it does change with the orientation of the gears. But on a table, you can really listen to the gears churning away. And it doesn't do it to the extent it used to. There you go. So I don't know how bad this will be long term. I uh, hope not very. But it is something worth noting. Uh, I will, of course, update the description or post a comment down if, if it does fail on me. So far, it's, it's had only like 30 screws in total, max. So it is still going fine. It is on the first charge. So we'll keep you guys updated. And that's been it for today. Have a good one.